Okay, now let's go into the salary uh, section of the law. Okay, ito yung kadalasan uh, tinatanong sa board exam. Okay, kasi kadalasan dito din yung mga vague uh, na mga tanong eh, yung mga calculation tsaka yung mga minsan hindi uh, hindi nalalaman ng mga common nurses natin. Okay, when you talk about the night time or night shift differential, okay? The night shift differential, kailangan mo lang tandaan na ang anong ano ba nga yung window Kailan yung window ng night shift differential natin? Okay, the window of the night shift differential is from 10 p.m. Okay? 10 p.m. to 6 p.m. So, kapag na-fall yung duty mo within this window, that is considered or you shall be entitled to a night shift differential. Now, ano ang entitlement? Ano, ano yung uh, igagawad sa iyo? Kapag uh, may night, sh uh, night shift differential ka, you will be awarded 10% of the regular okay regular wage per hour to ha per hour perform okay so again okay erase natin kasi hindi nababasa okay so regular wage per hour perform so itong calculation na night night uh, night time differential is calculated hourly okay per hour yan in yung calculation niya so uh ka calculate natin yan mamaya you just have to remember the definition of night time differential again the factor there is 10 percent okay how about the overtime pay guys i'll talk about the overtime pay kapag yung uh working time mo by the way the the working time that is specified by the magna carta should not exceed or should not exceed exceed eight hours per day that means kapag nag-exceed ng 8 hours per day, that is considered overtime. Okay? That is considered overtime as defined by the law. Okay? Now, kapag nag-exceed yung working hours mo ng 8 hours, you shall be entitled to an overtime pay. Okay? You shall be entitled to an overtime pay. Ang caveat lang dito guys, ang mag determine ng overtime pay mo is according to your agency or your employer. Okay? Your employer. Okay? So, siya yung mag define kung anong factor ng overtime pay mo. Okay? So, kabilang din dito yung holiday pay. Okay? Ang sinabi ng Magna Carta sa when it comes to holiday at saka yung overtime pay, okay, just, just within the Magna Carta law itself, yung employer or yung agency mo ang mag determine kung ano yung factor ng overtime pay mo. Okay? How about the hazard allowance? We talk about the hazard allowance. Ito yung minsan din natin, yung last, I think it was in the, on the pandemic period, kung ano daw yung hazard allowance. Bakit ba tinanong yun sa board exam? Well, because okay, you, you are entitled to a hazard allowance when you are exposed to what we consider great danger, okay? When you are exposed to what you call great danger, kabilang na dyan yung contagion, kung exposed ka sa mga contagion, okay, Con contagion, kabilang yung mga viruses, bacterias, na nakakahawa, nakaka na nakakadulot ng sakit sa isang, sa isang human body or sa, sa human body, okay? So that is considered a contagion, or exposed ka sa radiation, okay? Kabilang nito yung mga nurses that are caring for patients that have uh, chemotherapy or radiation implants, okay? So, they are awarded hazard allowance. Ano pa? Kapag when a nurse is subjected or is subjected to um, predictable natural disaster. Okay, disaster. I'm sorry. Wrong spelling pa na yun. Okay, natural disaster. So all of this, guys, all of this, you are entitled to a hazard allowance. Now, according according to the law, sino mag determine sino mag define na great danger tong event na to or yung specific na phenomenon na to? The one who will define kung sino yung mag determine kung pasok nga ba to sa tinatawag natin great danger, gaya ng contagion, radiation, or natural disaster, would be the Secretary of Health. 
Okay. Again, it will be determined by the secretary of health. Okay. So it pays to know, update yourself. Kung sino nga yung nakaupo sa pwesto when it comes to the DOH secretary, secretary of health of the Philippines. So update yourself when it comes to those, especially when you're taking the board exam. So last is ano nga ba yung factor? Ano nga ba award sa yon when you are exposed to this kind of danger? So you shall be entitled to 25 percent of the monthly basic pay, guys. Okay. So again, 25 percent of the monthly monthly basic pay. Okay. So next is the remote assignment allowance. Okay. We talk about the remote assignment allowance. It is awarded to you when you are assigned. To great distances or to isolated distances. Okay, when you are uh, when you are um, assigned to isolated uh, stations or distances as determined by distance. Okay, isolated distances. Yeah, isolated by distance. Okay. Okay as determined by hard access I'm sorry okay hard access and as determined if the position if the position okay is not or has not been filled pala or has not been filled for two years so kapag ang position na um, ginawad sa iyo or yung na-assign ka like for example a nurse you were assigned to a distant uh, barangay yung position na yun ay hindi yung walang walang position walang tao na naka-assign dun sa position na yun for two years then you shall be awarded you shall be entitled to how much 50% of the basic pay, the monthly basic pay. So again, what should you remember when you talk about the salary? Okay, salary benefits of nurses. You should just need to remember 10%, okay, 10%, 25%, chaka 50%. Again, 10, 25, and 50. Okay, so again, 10, 25, and 50. This is monthly, this is hourly. Okay. So, yan yang yung remember mo when it comes to the Magna Carta. Okay, so salary benefit. So, let's, let's, uh, let's answer some questions and some practice questions. So, no, so, kung paano mo i apply to sa practice. Okay, so let's proceed. Okay, so now let's solve this question. Jane is a dedicated nurse that works a night shift at a public health hospital. Her regular hourly wage is 200 pesos. Now she works on between 10 p.m. and 6 a.m. Now calculate total earnings of night shift and the overall earnings for the day for Jane. Now again, no getting sin uh, no na yung sinabi natin. The over uh, okay, the uh, overnight pay is calculated per hourly rate. Okay, now kaya yung binigay yung hourly okay, hourly wage in Jane dito. Okay, so in order we just need to take the hourly wage 200 at saka bilangin po natin kung ilang hours yung shift ni Jane. So, hours ng shift. Okay, ilang hours ng shift niya? 8 hours. Another thing na kailangan nating tandaan is the night dip. Okay? Night differential. Okay, ilan po yung night differential? It's 10%. Very good. 10% po yung night differential. So, ang kailangan ng nating gawin is i-multiply itong lahat. So, 0 0.10 multiplied by Okay, bakit 0 0.10? Because that's 10%. Okay, ang decimal po ng fraction na 10%, I mean, a fraction, a percentage na 10% is 0 0.10, okay, times 200, times 8, which is the hours, okay, so that would be 160 pesos, yung awarded nighttime differential, or nighttime Now, the question also asks us kung ilan yung total earnings ni Jane for this day, so anong kailangan natin gawin? Total earnings ni Jane for this day, Kailangan lang i-calculate ang hourly rate, 200 multiplied by, okay, hour. Ilang hours yon siya naka-shift? For 8 hours multiplied by 8, that would be 1,600 plus 
the nighttime differential, which is 160. So that would be 1,760. So that would be 1,760 pesos. Now, how about this one? Sarah is a dedicated nurse with a salary paid of 15 who works in a rural health unit located in the area exposed to high volcanic activity. Her monthly basic pay is 35,000 pesos. Now, 35,000 pesos calculate Sarah's hazard allowance based on her salary paid and the hazard risk nature. Okay, simple lang po ang uh, kailangan natin gawin dito. Kailangan natin kunin yung basic pay ni Sarah, 35k, 35,000 pesos. Multiplied by the factor that is speculated in the Magna Carta, which is 0.25 or 25%. Okay? So, yung multiply mo lang yan, kukuha mo na 8,750 yung hazardous pay ni Sarah. So, ang total, total amount po na makukuha ni Sarah for that month would be 43. Okay, bakit 43,000? Because you need to add the monthly basic pay plus the awarded hazard pay. Okay, so uh, 35, 35,000 plus 8,750, that would be uh, 43,750 uh, 43, pesos. Okay, how about this one? Okay, Dr. Lopez. Okay, bakit doctor? Bakit doctor? Bakit hindi na nurse? Because doctors are also um, within the scope of the Magna Carta of Philippine Health Workers, which is a dedicated dentist now, has accepted an assignment in a remote area that has remained unfilled for two years. So, anong, 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 anong po yung factor natin dito? This is what you call an remote assignment allowance. Okay, very good. Remote. So, in this case, kapag may remote assignment allowance, ilan nga yun? 50% po yung Increase in B, uh, from the basic pay, calculated from the basic pay. Okay, now basic pay ni, Dok, ni Doki is 40,000 pesos. Wow! Okay, multiplied by 0.5 or 0.50. Okay, see 50%. Decimal yan, it's 0.50 or 0.5. That would be equal of 0.50. Hap mo lang yan, that is 20,000. Okay, 20,000. 20,000 plus 40,000. That is the total amount na makukuha ni Doc for that month would be 60,000 pesos. Cha-ching! Okay, ang laki na makukuha niya. So those are the basic calculations that are included in the salary benefits of nurses or within the Martina Carta. Okay, let's proceed to the other highlights of the law. Okay, the salaries of the public health worker should be paid according to the law. It should be, it should be paid sa tinatawag natin legal Tender. Okay, what mung kalimutan to, guys, the term. No, ibig sabihin yan. Yung, yung pera na recognized as state as a viable denomination. So, yung, pwede ba yung Bitcoin? Pwede ba yung uh, crypto? Hindi po, because hindi siya recognized as state yet as a viable denomination. Okay, so, legal tender, kagaya ng cash o ng check, eh, those are uh, viable denomination. So, those are considered like if Blank to prevent the workers from performing duties is not allowed. Okay. Okay, ito po, just, um, just remember that within the Magna Carta, harassment, any form of harassment, okay, that would prevent the worker from performing his duties, okay, is not Example, okay, si Maria ay nagdidextros ng pasyente, okay, nagchichange ng IV ng pasyente. Tapos may SO yung sanabi niyo. Kung change mo yung IV ng pasyente, papatayin kita. Okay, that is not allowed because the nurse is performing only his duties. So those are, okay, by the way, ano, ano ba yung um, na implication kapag may gumawa nito? Okay, the person okay, the person that conducted the harassment shall be, okay, charged or fined up to 20K to 40k for one year of imprisonment. Okay, one year of imprisonment. And then you po. Okay, again, 20k to 40k or one year imprisonment determined by the court. How about the salary scales of public health workers funded by local government is blank than those funded by the national government? Okay, this is a good question. Okay, according to the Magna Carta, the salary scale of the public health workers in the local government, okay, yung nasa mga barrio funded by the national government compared ano po yung kaibahan na nito 
kailangan po equal silang dalawa. Okay? That means that those within the local government and those in the national government should have basic pay. Equal, basic pay, or equal. That means that the salaries of the public health workers funded is specific po na verbatim, verbatim po na sinabi ng Magna Carta should not be, okay? Should not be less than that those funded by the national government. Okay, now last. No transfer of reassignment should be made blank before any local or national election. Ang tinatanong po dito yung time. Okay. No transfer of reassignment should be made within three months. Okay. Three months before any before any local or national elections. Okay. Ano pong pini-prevent natin dito? Ano pong pini-prevent ang Magna Carta? It prevents political political interference in healthcare, okay? So another thing that is worthy to mention is that kapag ma-reassign, okay, reassign yung isang empleyado or isang employee from a local or national health, basta, okay, basta is a uh, basta government employee. The expenses should be paid by the government in full, okay? Paid by the government in full, okay? Kapag tilipat ang isang empleyado from another location, the government shall pay any expenses that is associated with that transfer of that employee, okay? Yung pamasahe, okay? Yung mga expenses na yun, yung pagkain, okay? Those will be um, shouldered by the government, okay? Now, Walang justification. Walang justification yung pag-transfer na employee. Ang employee is entitled to, okay, when there is no justification, walang purpose, okay, there is no reason, justification for transfer. The employee can appeal. Sa tinatawag natin, okay, red, okay, C, okay. CSC. Anong in CSC? Civil Service Commission. Okay, again, the employee can appeal to tinatawag natin civil. So those are the highlights and those are usually okay, the main points of the Magna Carta of Philippine health workers. Now let's ask, uh, let's answer before we end this video. Okay, number one, according to the Magna Carta, what specific rights do public health workers have regarding overtime compensation and how do this Rights contribute to their overall well-being. Okay, a rights to overtime compensation. Uh, a they have no rights to overtime compensation. B right to receive regular wage for overtime work. C right to receive rate plus an additional 10% of the overtime rate. Or D right to an additional 25% rate. Okay, anong uh, unang unang tayong eliminate dito sa questions uh, sa sa mga choices nato. Alpha. Okay. At saka, bravo. Okay, hindi po regular lang at wala, hindi po na walang rights to overtime compensation. Meron po tayong rights to overtime compensation. So, anong, anong saktong rate po sa kanilang dalawa? The correct answer is letter C. Right to overtime rate plus an additional of 10% of the overtime rate. Kagaya ng calculation na ginawa natin kanina. Okay, how about this one? According to the Magna Carta, who should be responsible for the expenses of transfer or reassignment? of health workers, yung bagong-bago pa natin giniscuss. Who should be responsible? Responsible should be? Okay. So, may dalawang potential answers po tayo dito. But first, let's try to eliminate um, the unlikely answers. Okay, let's eliminate alpha and let's eliminate delta. Okay? There are two potential answers. Now, sino ang most likely? What is the reason by the way? Okay? Kailangan natin um, i-underline kung sino yung uh, responsible for expenses, the national ba or local? At ano, ano yung following sentence? Okay? By promoting financial stability or by preventing the undue financial burdens on the health workers. Okay? According to Magna Carta, okay, according talaga sa law natin, okay, the government, okay, shall cover the expense. Okay, according to the law, it should be, okay, Hindi specific is hindi specified actually kung anong 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 branch ng government, the national ba or local, but the purpose why the government should reimburse the transfer is that to prevent 
undue financial burden on the health worker? So the correct answer is Charlie. Okay, how about this one? Last number. What should the public health workers do if they are asked to join health workers organization or A, ask the organization or union, um, even uh, join the organization or union even they do not want to, B, refuse to join the organization or union, C, ask the organization or union for more information about what they do, or D, listen, as it's up to the individual health worker to decide whether or not to join an organization or union. Okay, I know. Unang-una natin eliminate dito, okay? The correct, uh, unang natin eliminate dito is, is alpha, okay? Alpha unang eliminate. Okay, bakit po uh, eliminate natin yung A? Because it's not compulsory, okay? It's not compulsory. It's not required or mandated by the one na kailangan mag-join tayo ng union, okay? Even if they do not want to, okay? So B, refuse to join the union organization or union. Okay, how about letter C, ask the organization or the union for more information about what they do or D, listen as it up to the individual health worker to decide whether or not to join a union or organization, which is the likely, okay, likely action, the best action that a nurse can do when there is someone who is advertising to join a union. Okay, now let's, let's ask first, what is the purpose of our unions? Ano bang purpose ng mga unions or ng organizations? Okay. okay. The government actually allows, okay, the government, okay, allows the formation of unions. Bakit kaya? Okay. This is in, in safeguard to the rights at, and saka privileges ng ating mga nurses. Bakit ano mangyari? Usually nangyari ito sa mga private hospitals. Eh. Okay. What if in a private hospital? Okay. In a private hospital. Okay. Sa private hospital, May isang nurse, okay, may isang nurse na, na mistreat ng administration niya. Ano yung sabihin na naman, na mistreat pwede yung hindi siya sinelduhan, hindi siya binigyan ng tenure, hindi siya binigyan ng rights and privileges ng case okay, sa isang private hospital. Again, may isang nurse na na mistreat ng administration niya. Okay, now, the nurse decides to voice out, to voice out his or her concerns on the hospital. Now, knowing na iisa lang tong nurse na to, may power ba siya? Okay? May power ba siya? Or, just, or wait, compared, okay, to the power of the hospital, or the, the administrators of the hospital per se. Okay, wala po. Is isang nurse versus the hospital that is an, a very unlike or a very unbalanced uh, power struggle or a power, power. So, ano pong pinu-provide? So, so dyan po papasok ang Unions. Ano, ano pong pinuprovide ng unions? Ang unions are actually a group of that has the same profession or okay, the, the same priorities, the same goals. Okay. An example of a union is yung tinatawag natin Filipino Nurses United. Okay, so that's an example. Now, since a union has now since a union has not only just one individual but multiple number of individuals okay they can conduct what you call tinatawag nating collective bargaining pwede maki pwede silang mag-negotiate sa mga entities kagaya ng hospital kagaya ng mga administration or kagaya ng government natin sa rights and privileges and resources na hindi napapractice okay in which case dito sa rights and privileges ng iisang nurse na na mistreat ng particular administration ng isang private hospital. So, so automatically ba? So, so in relation to that, na i-refuse mo lahat ng unions na mag-i-endorse sa iyo as a nurse? No, of course not. Okay? Okay, bravo is the wrong answer as well. So, there are two likely questions. Okay? So, there are two likely questions that can that is viable. I mean, likely question. Choices that are viable. C. Ask organization or union for more information about what they do or D. Listen as it is up to the individual health worker to decide whether or not to join a union or organization. So, dalawang likely answers. But the question is, saan sa mga choice na to ang nagspeculate ng the right of the individual to freely or to freely practice the principle of autonomy? And the correct answer for that, if you, you frame that question, is letter B. Okay. 
with the correct answer is letter D. You need you can listen as it is up to the individual or the health worker to decide whether or not to join an organization or a union. So that is all you need to know about the Magna Carta of Philippine Health Workers. I hope you learned something and thank you for listening.